Happy New Year! No more of that screaming shit. No more screaming. That's that shit's annoying, okay? We don't do that. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 137. Ah! 137. What? <laughs> 137. I'm not I'm not screaming anymore, okay? That shit's annoying. Enough. <laughs> I'll scream. I'll scream if I wanna. Right now, I ain't screaming, okay? You ain't gonna get a scream out of me. Ice cream. Um, okay, uh, it's been. It's been. I still haven't got that. Let's do that right now. No, let's not. Uh, where was I? Well, I've been gone. It's the holidays, okay? So stuff's been happening, and I've been, uh... I said to myself, hey, take a break from the poop cast. And it feels terrible. I shouldn't have done that. Got to keep this train rolling. No matter what, remember that. No matter what, as shit as this podcast is, you keep going. You wear the tight shirts that really accentuate your fat belly and keep going. And that's what I'm doing, brother. So it's been probably... A week and a half, maybe two weeks since I've actually filmed, recorded a podcast. So I'm kind of trying to get back into the groove of things. But still, we're probably going to do maybe only one a week. At least one a week. There won't be any less than one a week. One a week. Might get back up into two. You see, when the winter months are here, puts you in a shit mood, Okay. Before we move on, here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out anyway, because I'll talk about it. Thanks, Janice, for the bubbly. This is lime sparkling water. If you're gonna get sparkling water, Janice, make sure it's bubbly, which you did. So good for you, Janice. Don't be getting that strawberry Perrier shit. That is, uh, that is not good. I'm gonna try something different this time. Rather than pour it into the mug, I'm just gonna keep it in the mug and drink it like this. Hmm. Oh, that's still not that great though. I gotta say. <sighs> it's better than strawberry Perrier. I just spit. But it's not... It's still not as good as good old... Pop. Good old Sody Pop. You mean someone that has Sody Pop. Motherfucker. Um... Oh, say can you... It's New Year's. It's fucking New Year's. It's, um, for me, literally, right now, it's December... 31st, shit boy, it's fucking new, it's 2020, the new year is always a shit show, is it not, I mean you got Christmas, like literally days before, and then all of a sudden, there it's like, hey, it's a new fucking year, not only that, it's a new, it's a brand new decade, we're heading into the roaring 20s, fantastic. And does that mean that the Dynamite Gizmo Pockets is finally gonna step up its game in in, in the in the new in the, in the new decade? Well, let's hope so. Cause I mean, shit, boy. This podcast is has been going downhill since day one. Not really. I mean, I feel it's that way. But when I really stop and look at it, I can appreciate it and say, "Hey, this isn't that." bad you stupid are you stupid or something i had a beautiful vision when i started this and that vision is still being played out i also said to 
in the last episode, the last couple episodes, there's going to be changes to the podcast. Those changes, I haven't even discovered what those fucking changes are going to be. At first, I was like, I got to make this more visual, more appealing. But then I was like, whoa, 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 why? Why do I got to do that? Things were going good this way. And the podcasts that I enjoy are not visual based. You just, uh, you can listen. You just listen. People talk, have conservations, conversations. They conservate their conversations. But when you try to do a poop cast two to three times a week, you really get sick of listening to yourself and you run out of shit to talk about. When you make a skit here and there, like back in the day, you know, that was that was fun. And so I said to myself, why don't you start making fucking skits again? And so that's what I'm doing. If you go on the internets, I'm start. I've. I never thought I'd do this, because I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't sure about TikTok, but I started. I'm starting TikTok. Okay. I used to do Vine back in the day. I was all about the Vine, and now, you know, I'm starting to understand. Okay, Vine is is the new TikTok, and I'm just gonna have to accept that. Because I loved Vine, and I wish Vine still existed. I think Vine was superior to TikTok, 100%. I'm getting distracted by my page here. See, this is all my shit. This is all I got so far. I only got six videos uploaded. But this current one, I put some little bit of effort into. This one right here. Where it looks like I'm singing, because I've, I'm not really singing, but I can't play this. I can't play it because there's actual music. Because that's how TikTok works. That's one little thing I like about TikTok is they somehow found a way to use these uh, songs in the videos. So you can go follow me on TikTok if you want. Uh, at Dynamite Gizmo Films. Gizmo, not Gizmo. Pitch. Pipa, pachu, pachacha. Okay? Why don't I show you one that doesn't have music? Oh, they all have music, don't they? I'm not going to show you any of them. For reasons. Doesn't matter, okay? So I'm starting to do TikTok. I have. I have a f- I have like one and a half little sketches that I was going to edit and upload to YouTube but they're garbage so I got to I got to work on that and figure out what the fuck I'm going to do with this channel. All right? YouTube's my jam. Y'all know that. YouTube's my thing. YouTube's my my my, my main man. So I've got all kinds of ideas brewing. I just need to execute. Ah! Miss Vine. Why did they get rid of Vine anyway? What was the reason? It was... It had so goddamn much potential. It was... Fucking fantastic. And then Twitter was like, I'm gonna squash it. It was so good, dude. It was beautiful. It's it was better than TikTok, one hundred percent. It just, I mean, TikTok really resembles Vine now, but it's not the same, bro. It's not the same. I want Vine back. Vine was the shit. And I'm glad to see that the majority of the of the. OG Viners are on TikTok and they're doing their Vine style content, content, content. Ba 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 ba. I still miss. I still just miss it. I miss it. I miss the Vine. Those three. 
I've been sick for the past three days. The first thing I did this morning was sneeze. Mm. Um. So let's just let's just talk let's talk about some stuff, okay? PewDiePie. Pew, we all we all know PewDiePie, okay? If you don't know PewDiePie, you are obviously not a YouTube person. You're not someone who goes on YouTube. You're not someone I mean, everyone goes on YouTube, don't get me wrong, but you're not someone who's engaged in the community if you don't know who PewDiePie is. So I don't need to explain anything. Because if you don't know who PewDiePie is, then why the fuck are you watching this stupid podcast? Okay? Because this podcast is an encompassation. It's an encompassation of everything YouTube, pretty much. Okay? That is that is what I pride myself in. I don't know a lot, but I know YouTube. And what I do know is that PewDiePie... Has been on YouTube since the dawn of, well, not the dawn of time. He's been around since 2010. You know, that's when he started to get some, started to get big. Anyway, the guy's number one. We all know this. 100 million subscribers. We all know this. And I just want to point out what comes along with that fame and fortune. Okay. See, PewDiePie went from calm, cool, collected, nice guy to famous, and then you know he he started to push his boundaries, got in trouble a bunch of times, then you know pushed his way through it, still on top, and and he still to this day is is on top. But he's been through so much on YouTube that he's gotten to a point now. Where he's kind of just like a grumpy old man <laughs> that's fed up with the bullshit. And you can see this in all his new content. You know? He even started doing this thing in his thumbnail, as you can see here, where he just picked a stationary face and is using that for all his thumbnail videos. I mean, odd time he'll like Photoshop. It looks like he Photoshopped a smile, unless he just retook the photo. I don't know. But just watch his videos. You'll see he's so fed up with the system, and everyone is. But he, he, what am I trying to say here? Why am I even talking about this? He's just bitter. It's still fun to watch his stuff, kind of. But he's very bitter. And it bothers me. Makes me think, oh shit, is this is this the inevitable? If you're on YouTube, you know, just like anything, any job, any place of work, you get fed up with the establishment because it goes corporate. And too many rules are in place, too many things happen, too many, uh, uh, you know, too many, too many good people get scrutinized for shit that they shouldn't have. And a great example of this is fucking uh, Joe Penna. Okay, this is something that happened recently. Joe Penna, you may know him, OG YouTuber, Mystery Guitar Man. That's his, that's his handle on YouTube, okay? This guy hasn't done YouTube in uh, I don't know how long. He's he's one of the OGs who kind of stepped away from YouTube to pursue other feats. Um, but back in the day, he was known for you know uh, his his fantastic cinematography plus his musical skills. I should almost just show one of his fucking videos just to get a good idea of who this is before before I talk about what the hell happened to him he's still in the search menu which is which is which is pretty good okay actually let me just go back here 
Like, let me do a classic one. Uh, I don't even know which one to do. Like, they're all really good. I just... Like, this is... This is... This is... Okay, we'll just do this one. This is Tyler. This is Tyler. Tyler. With Grammarly's help, is writing an email to his boss. Okay, hey, Tyler, yes. I'm at Mim. They've got over 6,000 instruments. Let's play. Now... Can I even play this? I don't even know. I played it mute. See, so you already know the song. You heard you heard like a second of it. But the guy goes from like, you know, shot to shot, different you know, this is just it's his style. Playing he plays music in creative ways and it's all original content. Just that's that's what you got. It's all original content. It's all great stuff, okay? So, whoops. Um, he posted this on Twitter, okay? Without my permission, this news network used a clip of one of my favorite videos. It's now taken down from my channel for infringing their copyright. So this news piece of shit news network, where is it here? ATV, whatever fucking bullshit that is, okay, they used Mystery Guitar Man's video in their stupid news segment, and now his, his fucking, his original content is now blocked and demonetized because... But the fucking YouTube algorithm thinks that he's taking it from them, even though they took it from him. That's how fucking fucked up this stupid system is. They stole his video, put it in theirs, and now fucking Mystery Guitar Man is getting the, the, the shit for it. That is not what should be happening at all, and the fact that it's happening to Mystery Guitar Man is absolutely ridiculous. And so that is one of the other reasons why I'm fucking, you know, this is why PewDiePie's bitter. This is why everyone's bitter. And this is why I'm starting to become bitter. Like, what is happening to YouTube? This is not, this should not be going on. At all. And this isn't even the, the end of the story here. So if we move on... The next day, or the same day, okay, he posts something else. It says this, You have got to be kidding me. Now that that Turkish claim has been released, okay, so his claim was released. He got his video back unblocked and monetized, okay? But after that, another claim, okay, another claim has just come in from an Indian channel that he's never heard of called... Who cares what the fucking channel's called? It's a piece of shit channel. The claim is already disputed, but come on. Okay? So luckily he got it disputed, but shit, man. Another fucking news channel takes his video. And the algorithm blocks Mystery Guitar Man again. Like, what is going on? So when, when he... Uh, mess or uh, tweeted at Team YouTube. Okay, the, here's their response. Hmm. If you think the claimed content is incorrect, you can always dispute it. This FAQ page covers common cues and answers on how it works. Hope this gets resolved soon. Like fuck off. I understand. Okay, YouTube. I understand. You've got probably hundreds of thousands of, of people complaining about wrongly disputed claims and whatnot. But this is Mystery Guitar Man, okay? This guy fucking made your site. He was one of the many OGs who fucking built the foundation for your goddamn website. And you're just gonna fucking... You're just gonna push him under the rug like this? That is insane. So, Joe says, 
response to what I just read at Team YouTube. I don't think it's an incorrect claim. I made the video from scratch, counter, already filed. What I'm saying is that it's insanely simple for corporations to abuse your content system, as shown in these past three days. So, if this shit's happening to the major creators, imagine what they're doing to the small YouTubers who have little to no impact or influence. Like, imagine what's happening to them. Channels like this channel, which I am completely insignificant, but it makes me wonder... When my channel gets bigger, if it ever fucking does, but that's the that's the that's the that's the goal, obviously. But when it does, what? Like, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna be just a bunch of fuck? Am I gonna be just a miserable piece of shit, thinking that YouTube was the wrong path to take? I don't know. I have no idea. And so that worries me. It worries me quite a bit. No matter where you are, up your stereo right now. Oh, I got a burp. Oh, man, that bubbly. It's making me burp. So. I guess the what I'll say just don't you know you don't don't worry you don't worry but you got to be aware that this shit can happen okay and if someone like me if this hap if something like this happened to me like with the way my channel is right now and if I tried to dispute this I think I would have a very difficult time trying to dispute it I think Joe's a little bit lucky in the fact, in the sense that he is a major creator, but still, that should not have happened to him. That is absolutely ridiculous. What kind of system are they running here where they think the news, these stupid news channels, can just take your videos and then block the original content creator? That's absolutely ridiculous. It's insane. Can't believe that happened. Cannot believe that happened. But what do you do, huh? What the fuck do you do? Also, I'll just say this. Um, so, Mr. Guitar Joe Penna, he has moved on to, you know, I mean, he's always, his, his, uh, his, I think his goal has always been cinematography directing movies and anyway he he's made a movie called art art arctic mads Mik mickelson is that the guy in it arctic i haven't seen i don't know anything about it i just know that he made this video and it's available on itunes so go check that out i don't need to promote it like fuck who am i Rock your stereo right now. Beep, B G B D. What am I doing? What is this? Okay. Uh, let's do the. You remember James Cage White? Talked about him uh, last episode or the episode before? One or the other. The guy's still on the search for a girlfriend but since i last talked about him he has uploaded like fucking 50 videos <laughs> so i can't i can't just show them all but i'll show a couple and i'll talk about something that he's also doing so let's just watch this one right now it's 10 21 p.m check out my dinner noodles i'm boiling in the water those are noodles i'm in dumplings they're I'm dumplings sorry. here we go eating dumplings as reward it's always as a reward. Whenever he eats, it's it's a reward. That's that's a way to think about it. I mean, obviously he was raised that way. That must be part of his culture. If you're gonna eat, it has to. You have to. You have to. You have to do something in order to 
um, well, how do you put this? You have to accomplish a goal in order to eat, in order to have the right to eat. <laughs> like you can't just eat for, for whatever reason and get fat. You know, you got to do something to earn the food. Uh, I wish I could do that. I am a fatty who just loves to eat. Anyway, uh, this this video here is a is a is a, is this the one? This isn't even the one. What? Where is it? Let me just okay. Let's watch this one then. It's very hard to get a US visa. I can't go to America and meet you guys. But you guys can come to China and visit me. I want to meet some single ladies. I want to find a girlfriend. Happy New Year! It's very okay. He wants to come to America. Can't get a visa. I'm looking for single ladies to come to China. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to show. What I wanted to show was... Uh, where is it? Where? Why? Why? This happens every fucking time. Oh, he got his tooth pulled. Gross. Where is it? Here it is. So he, the biggest thing he's doing right now is de is game development. I think that's what he wants to do. So he's got this rough kind of, uh, what do you call it, structure of a video game, kind of laid out. Hi everyone, I upload my game to the website, you guys can play it for fun. Hope you enjoy it, I will put a link below. Thank you first of all, thank you so much. Let's go! Oh my goodness! James is developing a game and we can play it! Look at this! Oh, it's on Unity! I just sneezed all over myself. Ew, there's literally snot everywhere. Oh my god. God damn it, boogers are disgusting. Boogers are disgusting. See, here we go. This is it. Woohoo! My computer can't handle this. These graphics are too intense. Oh, shit. I should maybe exit full screen. And look, there's his painting. Paints. That's one of his paintings. Look at that. Let's see if we can finish this race. Is this music too loud? Is there a way to turn it down? It's all or nothing, eh? It's all or nothing! Woo, baby! Oh, look, there's a picture of James. Hi, James. He's saying hi. Hello! Oh, well, I shouldn't do that. Okay. <laughs> can I drift? I don't... What are the... Like, what are the... Not too bad, I mean, it's basically Mario Kart. Same idea, you know. Lots of kart racing games out there. He's obviously not done developing this, it's still all like unrendered shapes. Or, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't make video games, I don't even really play video games. Loud? Okay, is that it? Did I? I can't tell. How many? How many laps have I done? Okay, yeah. All right. I think I. You get the idea. Um. 
What does he say? I made it. Game following the Unity tutorial. Thanks very much, Unity, and my friends who support me. Fantastic, James. Fantastic. Wow. Good for you. I'm dreaming of a Dwight Christmas. Okay, you know what I need to focus on this podcast is just talking about the shit I want to talk about. The, if there's stuff I want to talk about, talk about that. I'm not fucking... You know, I gotta do this. I gotta do it properly so that it's interesting to watch. I gotta talk about what I'm interested in. Otherwise, I'm just making bullshit content. And so, what I'll say is this. Um, I, I'm i the type of person who doesn't really watch movies. I mostly just stick to YouTube. And it's been that way since I was 12 years old, okay? Haven't seen Star Wars. Haven't seen Indiana Jones. Haven't seen Jurassic Park. Haven't seen Star Trek. You, you pretty well name it. I haven't seen it, <laughs> okay? And I was thinking the other day, I kind of like that. I kind of like not watching those movies. But let me just let me just uh, elaborate some more. Because when I was a child, people would be like, "Oh, I love Star. You gotta watch Star. You Star Wars, Star Wars, and shit like that." Okay, so I tried it. I tried it as a kid. I popped in a Star Wars movie. I watched like five minutes. No. Maybe 20 minutes of it. And I just didn't understand it. I was too young to comprehend what was going on. Even the movies like Goodfellas and, you know. Like my friends would be like, oh, you gotta watch it. It's so good. But I'd watch it and I'd be like, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. Because I was a child. I didn't understand life. But then as I got older and now I'm in my 20s. Okay. I would pop in one of those classics, and I'd be like, oh my god, this is, this is amazing. This is a beautiful movie. And so what I realized is by waiting until I was in my, you know, mid-20s, when my brain was nice and, and at least mostly developed, I can now appreciate these movies. And not only that, but I'm seeing them for the first time. And so people have already experienced it, and so when they try to rewatch it, it's like it doesn't hit them as hard so when I watch these movies for the first time it's like holy shit this this is a great feeling so I've got all kinds of classics that I can watch now and appreciate and analyze because I love whenever I whenever I come across a new good movie whether it's old or new I don't know why I just like to analyze it and write like I'll pause pause throughout the movie and I'll just like write down interesting notes or questions I have. And so what I the past few days I just started watching the Quentin Tarantino movies. And so like I've actually I think I've seen um pulp fiction as a kid but definitely don't remember anything from it didn't understand any of it so then i watched it yesterday for the basically the first time and i was like holy fuck this is beautiful and then i watched uh jackie brown and then i watched uh it actually started by me watching once upon a time in hollywood i was like i'm just gonna watch this okay because i i I, one of those vanity films fucking uh, videos popped up on my YouTube homepage. Quentin and Leonardo talking about the movie. And so they were talking about Rick Rick Dayton and whatnot. I was like, wow, this is super interesting. And since I was playing Red Dead, you know, I'm kind of already into the cowboy vibe already. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Rented it. Watched it, absolutely loved it. Wrote down a bunch of shit. Then I was like, okay, let's watch fucking another one. And so now I'm on the Quentin Tarantino train. And I'm watching his movies, and I can really appreciate them now. Whereas if I if I watched them as a, as a child and, you know, tried to pay attention, I just wouldn't care or even knew what was going on. So I think now 
I'm going to start watching all the classics and appreciating them. And it feels so good, man. It's great. It's a great feeling. It's just interesting. You know, because like everybody knows these movies and everyone's seen these movies. They already have an idea of what it is. They already know the whole storyline. I literally know nothing about Star Wars. I know nothing. Like I know the characters' names. I know R2D2, C3PO, Darth Vader, <laughs> Luke Skywalker. I don't even know who Luke Skywalker is. Like I have no idea. Is he the main character? I think he's Darth Vader's son. I don't know. I Like, I have no idea. That's what's so cool about this. I'm going into these movies like they're fucking fresh off the press. And it's kind of fun. Because everyone else has already been down that road. <clears throat> like, I watched Breaking Bad. That was one of the, one of the few shows that I watched... And absolutely loved. Like, I watched it while it was coming out. I don't do that usually. But that was, you know, my all-time favorite TV show. And so, like, when I hear people haven't seen Breaking Bad, to me, I'm like, you gotta see that shit, you know? And so when they say, when they get uh, distraught about the fact that I haven't seen Star Wars, I'm like, well, whatever, man. I just haven't seen it. But then when they say they haven't seen Breaking Bad, then I feel the same way they do about the way they, you know, about Star Wars. So. Movies. Logan Paul is a sex tape, a gay sex tape, sucking dick. And Team Trees hit 20 million. Just thought I'd throw that in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, because you need those views, right? You got you to gotta get that clickbait up in this bitch. How long have we been going? Did a little, 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 38 minutes. 38 minutes? Bruh. Bruh. Uh, I kind of feel like I have to poop. I kind of feel like I have to eat. I got to poop and eat. Did a little, 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 do, 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 little, little, do, do, do. Can you hear that? voice clearer without this I can't even get it off is my voice any clearer oh it's a little louder I think wow I don't even remember what this fucking microphone looked like without a poofy am I gonna be able to get this back on <laughs> Sorry for the loudness. It's all part of the game. Dude, literally, well, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that different. Not that different. Um. Mm. Delicious burps. <laughs> so yeah, here's the deal, folks. I made promises in the last episode. I made promises in pretty well every episode. But the promise I'm making now... <laughs> the promise I'm making now, which... Uh, th this is going to be the first episode in 2020. This is going to be the first episode in 2020. Okay, so, from tw so 2020 is going to be jam-packed with shit that interests me. And probably the rest of the fucking Dynamite Gizmo experience. No more of this clickbaity bullshit. I'll throw a, f a few of it in there if it actually interests me. But stuff I want to talk about is what this podcast is going to be about. That's what it is. I don't have to get fancy. That that was what I was... I had this idea about getting fancy with it. Uh -uh. We don't need to get fancy, okay? Casey Neistat, I love ya. <laughs> But I'm not taking your advice that um, literal. I'll take your advice and I'll, I'll process it in my own 
in my own way. Okay? So, th- yeah, that's what this podcast needs to be. It needs to be genuine. It needs to be real. No more of this fake bullshit. No more just talking about shit just for the fact that you need to talk about it to get views. We need to talk about what I want to talk about. That's what this is. This is the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. This isn't the Let's Talk About the News podcast. No, no, no. It's the Mushroom. Don't do that. You're going to knock it over. This is the Mushroom. Right, Ubel? Ubel, you got to come here. Come here. It's 2020. It's the 2020 podcast. I mean, <laughs> it's the first episode of 2020, Olive. You got to look at the camera. Look over here. Look. You see? You see, Ubo? Oop. It's 2020. Can you believe it? Um, so yeah. This wasn't a bad episode. <coughs> Actually, let me look at everything I talked about here. Boom. That's pretty well everything I was interested in. Except for the Logan Paul that I threw in there. If you don't know, Logan Paul's got a, a, a leaked gay sex tape where he's choking on a dick. It's not obviously, it's obviously not him. But what I liked about Logan Paul's reaction to this is he really embraced it. And he just ran with it and made jokes and humor about it. And that just shows you that he's grown as a person. And he's no longer this rambunctious asshole that he once was. You know, filming... I was going to say it. I don't want to... The guy obviously doesn't want anything to do with that that controversial video. You know the one I'm talking about. Japan. Okay? And so I noticed even in his podcast, even if, like, someone does try to, like joke about it in a in a certain way they they don't even mention what the video is you just know through context and so because of that i don't want to just straight up say what he did because i respect logan now logan's a pretty he's actually interesting and worthwhile watching whereas jake paul not so much still not so much you know it was a flip-flop at one point, it was like, Jake Paul's the good one, Logan's the bad one. Now it's like, Logan's the good one, and Jake's the bad one. I'm not saying he's bad, but he's just not my interest. Anyway, Benghazi is trending. So is Iran. So is Iraq. What the fuck? Iraq, Iran, and Benghazi. Iraq militia supports... Storm the U.S. Embassy. Okay. Let's not do that again. The last time I clicked on what was trending, it turned out to be a school shooting. I don't know. I mean, you can go well watch that episode. Anyway, it's fucking 2020. For me, not yet. It's December 31st. I've got a fucking... I've got a, I've got a party to go to tonight for New Year's, and I'm like... Ah, you know, New Year's is like, uh, parties, meh, there was a, you know, in high school, I was like, yeah, hell yeah, party up, but now every one of my fucking friends are like married with children, or they're, they just have children, they're just adult adults now, and I'm still stuck here, (laughs) trying to, I'm still like stuck in the past as a child. I don't want to grow up. And people are growing up all around me. And so, like, to go to these parties, it's like, fuck. Everyone's an adult now. No one's having fun. And I'm not the kind... I'm not saying I'm the kind of person who just likes to, you know, get... Get um, blackout drunk. And act like a fool. But what I'm saying is, like... You try to you try to goof around sometimes, and then people are like, "Hey, stop! Please, you no, know, calm down." It's like, what happened? Why well, can't you know? You know what I'm saying? You gotta be quiet. The kids are sleeping. Well, fuck me, man. 
Why'd you have children? <laughs> I'm not ready to be an adult. I don't like it. I mean, I like it, but I don't like those stupid social changes. I gotta poop. I gotta take a big fat shit. My stomach is hurting. Oh, it's that Velveeta cheese. Oh, I just didn't have that Velveeta cheese, bro. Anyway. Oh, God, I had that Velveeta cheese, bro. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> With that being said. <laughs> My stomach is sore. I literally feel like I'm going to shit all over this place. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, finger that notification bell. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Happy New Year. Have a. Uh, hope you had a happy New Year. And a... Happy New Year. But where's the other gaming games? Where's Jacksepticeye? Where's Markiplier? Why aren't they on there? You know? Like, they're the two biggest names on the platform for gaming. Health and wellness. And a happy new year with tidings they bring. I stuck up my string. Hallelujah, 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 new year. White is in jail. Do we have any more? Uh, have any more of that uh, cheese and crackers? Is there any more of that? could really use some cheese and crackers right now. Yeah, so you got that cheese and you got that crackers. Those cheese and crackers, I really want that. That would go really good with my, with my uh, expired eggnog. My eggnog's expired. Whispering right now! <laughs>